Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to inscribe three equal circles in an equilateral triangle with each of those circles to touch one side and two other circles. So this is what I'm talking about. So if you have an equilateral triangle, so when we talk about an equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal. And you want to have three circles inside this equilateral triangle such that the three triangles, I mean the three circles rather, it will touch one side and two other circles. So we'll be having something like this. So you can see that each of the one this circle in particular is touching this side and two other circles. Why this other circle is touching this side and two other circles? Why the third one is touching this side and two other circles? So I'm going to be putting you through how to go ahead and inscribe this, these three um, equal circles inside an equilateral triangle with the conditions that it will touch one side and two other circles. So if you are new to this channel, PA Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. So now let's get started with this video. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to draw the equilateral triangle. So I'm going to be using a side of 10 centimeter. So that's 100, 100 millimeter. So let me mark the points. So I've measured from this uh, 10 to 20, that will give us our 10. So let me just make it more bold. So I've measured the piece as 10, so I want to do that of the other sides also. So right now I pick my compass to measure 10 centimeter. So let me call this point A, then point B. So from point B, draw an arc. From point A, do the same thing. So from the point of intersection, So, so here is the collateral triangle, and by the way, if you don't know how to draw a collateral triangle, so this is how you go about to draw an equilateral triangle. So the next thing I'm going to do is to bisect two sides, I mean two angles. So I'll be picking this angle A and angle B. So when I mean to bisect this is to divide it into half. So to do that, I pick my compass using a convenience length. So from this point B, So with that, I can adjust it a bit. So where it is touching this line. With the same length, I'll come to this other point. Where the arc is touching line AB. So what I've just done to this point B, I'll come and do the same thing to point A. So the same step.
So where these two lines meet this at this point. So let me call this point O. Point O. Why this is point C? Okay. So I hope you are seeing the uh, you are able to see the construction line. I made it uh, thin so that because that's not the major thing that we are looking for. But make sure to so just follow along. So for the next thing we are going to do is. From this point C and then point O, we are going to draw a, uh, a line straight down. So I've drawn a line straight down. So what we want to do now is one of our circles, we are going to be having one circle here. That means A, O, B. We are going to be having one circle here. We have another circle here. That means here, here, and here. So in order for us to do that, so I'll pick my compass again and bisect this part of this O, O, A, B, O, A, B. So that's what I'm going to be bisecting now. So I pick my compass. So from this line that bisects angle B, once I place my compass on the line, draw an arc from this other point. So from here it meets. I'll draw a straight line. So now this particular point, I hope it is clear. Okay, let me make some lines both right because it's not really showing properly. So let me just make this line more bold. So this is the line that is coming from C through O, which is the center. So let me also make this bold. So this particular line is one that bisects angle A. And then let me make the one that bisects angle B. Let me also make it bold so that we can see it in the so that we appear more okay i think it's clear now so this why this one here is one that bisects angle o b a okay okay so so when we are this particular line is touching this line that comes from c so let me call it point d that represents the center of the circle that we are going to be drawing. So the next thing we have to do is to pick our compass. So from this O to point D. So the length we are going to mark it on this. So this is the center for the circles. So, so the year is going to be the center for the circle. And here is the center. While here is also the center. And let me call this point E. So the distance from this point D. From this point D to point E. Is the radius of the circle so I've placed my compass on this point D so the next thing is to draw the circle So now we have the first circle. We have the first circle. Now with the same length, we we'll go to this point where we've marked to draw the second circle. So 
so here we already have the second circle so the same thing with this third side draw this third the third circle so now we have these three circles touching this side each of these circles is touching one side and two other two other circle so i want to to make the circle more bold i to believe you can see it more clearly so this is how you go about to draw uh three equal circles inside an equilateral triangle with the one of the circles touching one side and two other circles now, another thing you might come across another one that might ask you that, okay, inside an equilateral triangle, you should draw three circles with each of the circles touching two sides and one other circle. So that one will be like this. So it will look like this. Now, this particular one is touching two sides and one circle. But the one that we've just drawn is only touching one side and two other circle so the one we've just drawn this is it this is the one we've just drawn so this particular one i'll be doing it in the next uh, in the next video which will be appearing maybe somewhere uh, on the screen so that is it for this video uh, if you're yet to subscribe kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe uh to pa academy and with that guys i'll see you all in the in another video so meanwhile this video will be showing up on your somewhere on the screen so you can click on it to watch this particular video Thank you.